Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my June favorites and we're just going to dive right in. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, the very first thing that I have for you is um, some self tanners. The very first one is this Jergens Natural Glow and it is a daily moisturizer that will gradually build up your color. I've been using this um, twice a day. It comes in just the regular tube and then I just got this handy dandy bump. Um, it gives you a nice color without giving you um, streaks or Nutella face or anything so um, I've really been enjoying that that is working really well and I have the medium to tan it also comes in fair to light something like that skin tone so I highly recommend that and then also for an actual self tanner um, I've been loving the summer color self tanning lotion um, by Banana Boat and this is in the deep dark color um, this is a self tanner that you put on let it dry and then it develops over the next like two to three hours and you've got nice color once again um, not streaky don't have orange everywhere um, and I really really like that um, I've built up enough color with this now that I don't really need to use this as much but um, just if I know I'm gonna be in the pool the next day or like with people or um, just gonna go do something special then I might put this like on my legs or arms or something or you know this area but for the most part um, I can just get away with the Jergens Natural Glow um, so those are my self tanners really liking those Another thing that I've absolutely fallen in love with is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. If you don't know about this palette, it is a bunch of eyeshadows uh, like this. They're neutral tones. There's also like some purples and pinks and lots of browns and things like that. But they have actual cocoa powder in them, so mm, it smells amazing um, but the colors are very blendable really buttery and really pigmented let me swatch some for you really really pigmented I am wearing them on my eyeballs today I will have a tutorial for this look on my beauty blog very soon um, probably in the next week or two I'll have it in the lineup to go on that. And let me know if you want to see a tutorial on camera with this look. I'll be happy to do that. But I am absolutely loving that palette and I highly recommend it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Also, it's a really good, it'd be a really great like Valentine's present or something because it's a chocolate bar, but it doesn't make you fat. Hmm. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Another makeup product that I love, have been loving is kind of funny. I love, uh, I'm getting more into blushes, so I love nice like higher end blushes or baked blushes, but I was looking for a perfect like plummy color and um, couldn't find it and then lo and behold I found a, really, CoverGirl Cheekers um, for less than $3, $4 and this is in Plum Push. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see it, doesn't really swatch. Um, very well, but anywho, there it is. It's on my cheeks, so there's your swatch. Um, but I really love this color, and I've been wearing it a lot this um, month, so that's been my favorite blush this month. Another thing that I've been loving is um, this highlighting pen. This is the <whistles> Facial Highlighting Pen by Mary Kay. This is in shade 2. I love it when I put, I'm wearing it today, I have my foundation on and by the way I've switched to my darker foundation because I am tanning and even though my face is a little lighter than my body I don't want to walk around with my face lighter than my body I want it to match so that's a little tip you want to match your face to the rest of your body as well so you don't walk around with ghost face tan body that ain't cute. But anywho so when I put my foundation on and then I put my concealer on then I've been taking this and just kind of highlighting, you know, in the normal places you would highlight, just to give myself a little bit of, um, you know, wake up. Since I am doing the darker foundation, I feel like it, I just am mattifying my face a lot. So I want to bring a little bit of light back into it. And this is really cool because not only does it brighten your face, it also catches the light and actually um, doesn't have any shimmer in it, but it will catch the light for, to actually illuminate a little bit. And then, of course, you know, my Mary Luminizer. So I'm wearing all that today as well. Um, another <laughs> uh, makeup favorite, so my last makeup favorite, 
I have fallen back in love with my, this is my Mary Kay pressed powder. See? Pressed powder. I always want to say pressed powder and I use loose powder. But this is my Mary Kay pressed powder in beige one. Um, I have been in the heat. It's like ridiculously hot all the time. So I want to make sure that my skin, I don't want a super matte face where it looks really unnatural or cakey but I want to control oil and you know not be like super shiny on you know on accident you know glowy on purpose so I've been using um, this and it's really great powder it gives you a little bit of extra coverage so it's really great on those days that you just throw a CC cream or something like that and you want to have a little bit extra coverage and also control the oil just pop some of your pressed powder on there good to go why am I clicking I don't know. Anyway, um, one more thing that is, well, it's kind of beauty, but it's not really makeup. Um, that is my Milani nail polish in Power Periwinkle. This has been on my toes all month long. I love these polishes anyway. I just don't think they get enough love here on the YouTube. But the Mil Milani polishes mm, are really great, and they've got like a whole shelf on my nail polish rack just about. Um, they stay on really well. They're great. They're actually a nail lacquer, which if you don't know the difference between a polish and a lacquer, a lacquer actually is a little bit thicker and stays on longer and it's, you know, made for a long wear. So that. My last favorite, actually I have two more favorites. Oh, three more favorites. Sorry. So confused. Um, my book favorite has been this book here. It is called Be the Miracle. It's by Regina Brett. And it's not a book of like a story. It's actually a collection of stories. And basically it's called, it's 50 Lessons for Making the Impossible Possible. And so it's basically articles and things that she's written. She's a journalist and um, just a collection of those. And they're really great stories. And you just feel really good. It's like faith in humanity restored when you read this book. And she just teaches her life lesson. This is a good book that a young person or, or mature person, seasoned person, could read and enjoy. So I really am loving that. Um, next favorite is a TV show. Um, it is called Continuum. And you can find it on Netflix right now. There is another season that's not on Netflix at the moment, but you can get through the first two seasons of Continuum right now on Netflix. And I still gotta have to watch the season finale of this season. But I have like binged on that show. Like the first three or four I watched and then probably months went by and just didn't go back to it. But then when I started watching it again, I was like binging on it. Just like totally one right after the other. It was like potato chips. You know how potato chips are? I'm just going to have one. And then you wind up like eating the whole bag and feeling like you want to throw up. That's how it was, but you don't feel like throwing up. You really, really <laughs> love this story. Um, it's set in a, it starts out in the future, and then she comes back to the present, and it's, there's like some bad people that come back to, and she's trying to stop them from doing whatever they're wanting to do. Anyway, it's just, it's good. It's a good show. Watch it. Another thing, and this is my last favorite, and it sounds really like a torture device. Kind of is. Um, that is the Resistance Bands. I am loving using the Resistance Whatever. I'm loving using the Resistance Bands in my workouts. I do have a rule for myself. It is to work out at least, at least 20 minutes every day. Many times it you know, stretches out. Uh, for instance, I worked out almost an hour this morning. But um, if you add some sort of resistance or some sort of you know, weights or something at least twice a week, then your workouts tend to be more productive. And that is all the time. Um, you know, whether you're going to you know, trying to lose weight or you're just trying to be healthy, it's just going to help, you know, build your muscles up. And the more muscles you have, you know, the more, the harder you can work out and, you know, the more productive everything is and blah, blah, blah. So whatever the reasons, I just know that you're supposed to add some sort of weight. And plus, my digestive doctor told me to add um, the resistance bands um, to build my abdominal muscles because it would help out with whatever's going on there. Yeah. So, um, in case you don't know, I can't digest food. Just letting you know. 
All right. So anyway, that is all for my favorites. Um, wasn't really a super a lot a lot, but I hope that you got some ideas for anything that you would like to try or was wondering about. Um, but I will say my two absolute favorites for the month, right here. <laughs> that is the Jerkins Natural Glow and the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Like, those are my two favorites of the favorites for the month of June. All right, so that is all. I hope you guys uh, have a great weekend and a great July 4th. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make me happy. Um, like this video. And what else we got? Oh, check out the blog. I've got Natasha's. Natasha's? My name is Natasha, natashamedina.com, and we also have natsbeautyblog.com. That is the beauty blog. There is a new post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a makeup tutorial or review or something like that. Um, so, yeah, hope that you guys have a great everything I've already mentioned. And, yeah, have a great day, gorgeous.